What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Continuing along. So I want to try out the foil and dagger a bit this episode. Uh, damage is obviously comparable to what I have. It does attack slower. But I want to see how I feel about that. Um, whether or not I'm going to consider upgrading that as opposed to the claw. Because I do... This looks like a... This has like boss fight vibes. Let's not go there just yet. Um, I do like the, the moveset, but it's, you know, I need to play with more the moveset itself. Because when with the other weapon, I was doing a lot of spin to win. I wasn't actually using the moveset. I was using the spin. This is weird. It's just a very large open area. I guess we have to go to the gardens, but really go up and get some goodies. It was down here. Tell you what, it's really unnerving that I haven't encountered a single enemy over here. It, it, it's pretty much solidifying my thought that up ahead is about to be boss time. I have regular explosive. Oh, I don't. I got a lot of essence. I gotta gobble those up. But more than anything right now, I need I need copper so I can upgrade their weapon. Now I'm like paranoid, like maybe they were in the bags back in the other regions that I didn't get. Everyone's like, you gotta jump up and hit the bags. And I just, you know. How often do we see loot in bags? We almost never see that. Dupe man? I don't know what's going on. It's like there's a whole aura. Parried your parry. Let me just just check the move set. So we have swing, swing, cross, and then like pirouette, stab, 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 and the multi stab. I don't know. I mean, the claws are... The claws have the impact, which is pretty advantageous for the the parry playstyle, because I want to build up and get crits. Oh, they slaughter these people. Nope. I do like that it does the one two, uh, the double follow up there. Something. It's all wisp coming from this carriage. Someone mentioned a setting.
this. Oh, let me check my... Close the door, because the damn dog won't shut up. Can't wait till my office is done. Uh, indirect illumination, this. This is supposed to be full. Someone mentioned that'll stop the uh, the sprinkly effect of... Uh... Hang on a second, did that, did that just mess up the game? Yeah, it did. Jesus Christ, hang on. Oh, uh, how fun. Change one setting and all of a sudden the game wants to go to Slideshow Town. I'm gonna just reboot it. Should be smooth. I mean it's 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 really hard to give this like a seal of approval when anytime I change a visual setting I need to restart the game because it's like on the verge of crashing. What's weird is it, it runs a little wonky on my end, but OBS just straight tanks. That looks like we're running smooth again. Like, it's so, it's, I've never had another game where it's like, oh, you changed a graphical setting? Yeah, you're gonna have to restart, dude. Oh, God. I swear, oh, no, I got mixed up and didn't mean to go that way. It's over here. I was looking for loot still. Guess we got nothing? Okay, we're good. It's really hard to actually, like, tell. Sixty on my heavies. Seventy on that, so I'm definitely seeing higher hits. It's so hard to. It's so hard to tell when to parry. When they they have this like I don't know what it is un unstable aura I guess it's it's actually like really irritating. I do like that that seems to like plunge at them. It's like they have this this aura going on. Bismuth block, damn. They have this aura going on, and I, I can't even really. It's hard to tell. Like, is it is the attack about to come or not? Fight or flight. Increase physical damage and impact when her health is at the lowest. Increase armor and balance when her health is at the lowest. Okay, not really concerned about either of those. Not really too big on the health is at the lowest things. and agility.
What? I need more slots. Six slots is not enough. But, um, damn, I didn't. Where the hell did it go? Why? Why is it up? It's so weird that petrification is before my oil burettes. Like consumable shouldn't be ahead. That looks like the path forward. It's over here. Shortcut. Locked. Nothing. It's a dead end. Well, maybe there'd be like loot or something on one of the bodies. I saw a guy on the other side. That place, unless it loops around. Oh, I don't think I can jump that. That seems too far even for an air dash. Now from here, on the other hand. Oh, what the hell? Jesus. I just glanced over and the game's doing that fucking thing again, bro. Like, <laughs> this is honestly, this is ridiculous. Like, I've never had a game do this while playing. Like, like, it's not even like, it's not even hitting peak GPU usage either, which just makes this worse. Like, cause it means the game isn't, the game isn't properly utilizing the graphics card. Um, with OBS running, OBS is running recording in 4K. This game is being played in 4K. Uh, with both of those going, a GTX 3080 is at about 60% utilization. Now that we're loaded into the game, we're still sitting around 60% utilization. So that means that there's it, like, oh my God, man. Like imagine being in a race and you're like, why isn't the car going faster? And there's a limiter that stops 40% of the car from doing what it should do. Like that's, that's what's happening right now with this game. It's absolutely ridiculous. Monseigneur, where are you? Things don't look good for him. Monsieur has fallen into a trap. His captors probably took him to the Palais du Luxembourg. I'm like paranoid. I'm just staring at OBS constantly. Make sure it's not messing up again. Hmm. Y'all don't want to do this one at a time, do you? Yeah. 
can get him to attack his buddy, it looks like. Oh, now that's nice. I don't know. Um, I don't think we have... I don't think we're doing enough impact damage with this weapon. I mean, maybe when it, after an upgrade or two it would be better, but... I feel like with the, with the impact and how hard impact hits on parries... Using the dual blades and the spin to win, that that felt good. But uh yeah, the I'm not liking liking the parry with it too much. I'll need to like I'll need to see what like how much it would upgrade by to see if it's comparable, but right now I don't really have the most hope for earn out of it. right there that was so that was uh, two parries and fully attacking with our ones that looked like I've had it three hits there no I parried one Just fought. All right, so we just fought one of these. Now we're gonna fight it with the fist parry weapon. Could be, it could just be the upgrade difference. It's, it's really hard to tell. What I do know for sure is that the parry style of gameplay, I'm vibing with that 100%. More than uh, spin to win or icy rifle or, you know, the parry counterattack feels really good. I feel like I should just be working my way back to my thing now. I've discovered what happened to dude.
Oh, shortcut back. Suicide me? Yeah. Good. Okay, so if I'm looking at weapon upgrades, your impact goes up by two. Your impact. Well, but that doesn't make sense. According to this, the impact should be at 71, whereas the impact on this is only at 50. It's 367 versus 388. This should get better. Mm. Let me... Because this has A agility, let me put... I'm going to spend one bronze here. Okay, this doesn't seem to get better. It, stay, it looks like this just stays at quality. So it goes from C to CD, which is right where this is going to go. So, yeah, Nemesis, Nemesis Claw it is. Nemesis Claw is the main weapon. And I'll put on the ice thing, because I don't really have any. I have 282 of those things, and I don't have, like, a clear clear use for them. Some of these levels are just really long. Like, say I'm a fan of the pacing on some of it. Building garden, building garden. Oh. I don't know where I get bronze from. Like, these dudes are just dropping cast iron for me like crazy. And I'm just over here like, bronze, please. <laughs> I need bronze. This is probably where I go. Um, let me swing through this first, check for loot. Maybe some bronze. Tricky. This is just go up and then come back down. Wait. No, this is a whole ass. This is a whole ass another area. We're about to jump down.
Tell you what, I am full on paranoid with this episode though. That illumination shit messing stuff up. Has me bugging out over here. Missing side path with loot. Oh no, is this shit? That's probably how you get up. Well, how do I get back to where I came from then? You are wrong about my intentions. Get back! You were only given the power of speech to better deceive your victims. Come in peace, monsieur. What do you want from me? I love her. What happened to those who died in this square? What you see is the entire court of the Col de Provence lying there. I am the only survivor. The Comte de Provence? Has he fallen as well? No. The scoundrel deceived us. He left the palace without telling us. When it was our turn to flee, it was already too late. The adventure ended here, on the steps of the theater. At the hands of this monstrous creature who... Fire, ice, and fire, lightning? Ooh, boy. Ice and lightning. The most courageous tried to fight back. But they met with the same fate as the others. This creature have no weakness. Well, you imagine. We did manage to land a few blows when it was dragged down by the weight of its enormous mortar. But it was all in vain. My only advice to you is to escape while you still can. Yeah, I'm also typically dragged down by the weight of my massive mortar. Oh, I'm not... Alright, so this probably leads me to that vestige that I saw. Let me go this way. Half-ass hypnotist. <laughs> what? Lockwork coffin. Snuff box. He's been put into the snuff box. Oh, oh shit. Sewers. Damn. This is huge. For a side mission, this place is big, dude. So there's a sewers thing down there. I think this brings me back to the square. I need to verify. This looks like it does. Yeah. Alright, well. There's the other area here. Um, there's the boss. And there's also the sewers. So let's wrap here. We will continue hunting for the dude in the next part.